we live in an incredible country and it's and yet it's shocking to, to recognize that there's so many people who don't have access to housing and so when we think about um, the day of shelter it's a great chance for us to recognize and acknowledge as a community that we need to make sure that that human right of housing is accessible to everyone uh, in our community. Can you tell us a little bit about your role and introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Miller. I'm the uh, Director of Programs at Info McCold. And really what that means is I have the huge privilege of supporting uh, all of our teams that deliver programs and services to the families uh, that we support. What does your organization do? Well, at In From the Cold, for the past 25 years, we provide support to families in our community that are facing housing crisis. We have a vision of a community where no child or family is, is homeless, uh, but the reality is there are a lot of families that do face that kind of housing crisis, and so we provide emergency shelter support and really other supports across the whole housing continuum of care to help families uh, find a place called home. Who does your organization support? So at In From The Cold, we're all about families. And in any given year, we support uh, up to 2,500 uh, family members. And so really, for us, family is however families choose to define themselves. So it can be two parents, it can be a single parent, it could be a grandparent who's, who's got a child in their care. Um, really, any children, any children and the families around them that are facing a housing crisis, that's who we support. Tell us about the space we are in today. Well, we're in a meeting room in our new building, Neoma. Neoma is located in the heart of downtown Calgary, and it was actually an office tower reconversion. So you know all that empty downtown office space in Calgary? Well, with the help of the community, we were able to convert this building into affordable housing and a home for our shelter operations. And with that, we were able to put a lot of thoughtful touches uh, in the design to make sure that the spaces that we were creating were trauma-informed and really help create a sense of home for the families that come and stay here. Um, how, what does that mean to be trauma-informed? Well, a big part of that is the art artistic touches. So as you can see in the wall behind me and sprinkled throughout the building, there's a lot of artwork from local and Canadian artists, um, all, all with the intent of creating a space that people want to be in, that people feel comfortable in, and that ultimately that they feel proud to call home. How do you get funding to support your organization? So at In From The Cold, we are 70% funded by the community. So that's generous, the generosity of Calgarians through corporations, through private donors. Um, they, that's really where the bulk of our funding comes. And then we also have great support from the province of Alberta, as well as the Calgary Homeless Foundation. Can you tell us what is the most rewarding part about the work that you do? Well, I mean, I think, I think uh, I'd have to say there's two things that are, that are uh, equally rewarding in my work. Um, the first one is, is the incredible people I work with. The team here at In From The Cold, the amount of compassion and care, um, how hard they push to problem solve and try to support families and their needs in, in unique and creative ways. Because, you know, the reality is sometimes the resources are stretched pretty thin and we're supporting families that are facing incredible traumas and crisis. And so the way our team shows up every day and, and the honor and privilege that I have to support them um, is a really rewarding part of my work. And then, I mean, the other piece, of course, is we are, we are supporting families and children. And so the ability to come to work and see the smile on the child's face or see a parent um, that feels the care and the, the comfort of knowing that their community is behind them and to be able to be part of the community providing that support, uh, just incredibly rewarding. What motivates you in your work? Well, you know, as I mentioned previously, about 70% of our funding comes from the community. And you know, we view that as a huge responsibility. We are stewards of the generosity of the community to provide that comfort and care to families that are in need. And so for us, uh, and for me personally, you know, my motivation is to make sure that we are being good stewards of, that, of those resources and that support. Uh, we are the face of the community providing support for families in need. And that's a huge responsibility and one that we feel very privileged and, and honored uh, to, to, to work on every single day. What would you like people to know about the importance of housing and shelter? Well, as they say, home is where the heart is. And you can't have home without housing. But here's the thing. We recognize it in from the cold that housing, brick and mortars, is not enough to create a home. For someone to really feel at home, they need to feel welcome, they need to feel safe, they need to feel accepted, they need to feel secure. 
And when you have those ingredients, then you truly have a home. And we all know that we need to have a place called home if we're going to, if we're going to succeed in life, if we're going to thrive. And so at In From The Cold, we really believe that our work is to help families find that sense of home so that they can thrive. And we know that thriving families, thriving children lead to vibrant communities. What do you think people can do to ensure there is appropriate housing and shelter in our community? Well, the number one thing people need to do is to get informed. It's our community. We should know what's going on in our community. And so step one is to get informed, find out what are your local politicians advocating when it comes to housing policy, when it comes to dealing with the affordable housing crisis that we're facing here in Calgary. And then when it comes time to make decisions, make decisions based on that, right? Get informed, advocate for affordable housing, support affordable housing developments in your own community. We can't have nimbyism. We can't offload housing into other communities. We need to find ways to build more affordable housing across the entire city of Calgary. And I think finally, um, we have a lot of great organizations in this community that are providing support, shelter support, housing support. So get involved, get active. Donations are great, donations of, of money are great, but your time is really important as well. And a lot of these organizations um, succeed off of the volunteer work that, that comes into play. So please find time to give and give generously of your time and money. Why do you think day of shelter is important? Housing is a human right. We live in an incredible country and, it's, and yet it's shocking to, to recognize that there's so many people who don't have access to housing. And so when we think about um, the day of shelter, it's a great chance for us to recognize and acknowledge as a community that we need to make sure that that human right of housing is accessible to everyone uh, in our communities. Thanks, Emilio. Thank you.